When you approach an intersection with a green traffic light and another vehicle is already in the intersection making a left turn, you should a. Honk your horn and proceed straight. b. Proceed straight, as you have the right of way. c. Let the vehicle complete its turn before you enter the intersection. d. Turn right to avoid the vehicle. Answer, C. Let the vehicle complete its turn before you enter the intersection. What should you do to prevent being pushed into oncoming traffic if hit from behind while preparing for a left turn? A. Keep your wheels straight. B. Slow down and keep your wheels turned left. C. Slow down and turn on your emergency lights. D. Avoid making the left turn. Answer, A. Keep your wheels straight. If drivers from opposite directions arrive at an intersection simultaneously, and one driver is going straight while the other wants to turn left, the right of way belongs to A. The driver going straight. B. The driver turning left. C. Whichever driver signals first. D. Both should proceed with caution. Answer A. The driver going straight. You are at a red light and just as it turns green, a pedestrian steps into the crosswalk. You should A. Honk at the pedestrian and move cautiously. B. Proceed slowly and do not honk at the pedestrian. C. Wait for the pedestrian to finish crossing before proceeding. D. Proceed slowly, allowing the pedestrian to see you and move. Answer, C. Wait for the pedestrian to finish crossing before proceeding. What is the primary purpose of the move-over law? A. To give emergency vehicles a clear pathway. B. To prevent collisions with authorized emergency or hazard vehicles. C. To allow faster traffic to pass. D. To make room for construction vehicles. Answer, B, to prevent collisions with authorized emergency or hazard vehicles. Which vehicles might display flashing amber lights to warn of their presence? A, police cars. B, rural mail delivery vehicles. C, volunteer ambulance vehicles. D, personal cars of off-duty officials. Answer, B, rural mail delivery vehicles. How far in advance should you signal a turn or lane change? A. 50 feet, 15 meters ahead. B. At least 100 feet, 30 meters ahead. C. Right before turning. D. 200 feet, 60 meters ahead. Answer. B. At least 100 feet, 30 meters ahead. Vehicles displaying blue, green, or amber lights. A. Are authorized emergency vehicles and can disobey traffic laws. B. Are required to obey all traffic laws. C. Can only be driven by government officials. D. Must always be yielded to by other drivers. Answer. B. Are required to obey all traffic laws. Which turn might you be required to make on a road test? A. Three-point turn. B. U turn on a hill. C. Sharp right onto a side street. D. All of the above. Answer. A. Three-point turn. At what minimum distance should other drivers be able to see your vehicle if you decide to make a U-turn? A. As long as you feel it's safe. B. 300 feet, 90 meters. C. 500 feet, 150 meters. D. It depends on the driver. Answer. C. 500 feet, 150 meters. Where can you not make a U-turn, even if paths connect both sides? A. Within 1,000 feet of a railway crossing. B. Within 1,000 feet on a local street. C. In a parking lot. D. On a limited access expressway. An Answer. D. On a limited access expressway. 
Under which circumstance is passing on the right side permitted? A. Always, if there's space. B. Only when it's necessary and safe. C. When the vehicle ahead is turning left. D. Under no circumstances. Answer B. Only when it's necessary and safe. When passing a motorcycle. A. You can share the same lane. B. You must give the motorcycle a half lane width. C. You should honk to alert the motorcyclist. D. You must give the motorcycle the same full lane width as other vehicles. Answer D. You must give the motorcycle the same full lane width as other vehicles. Before making a lane change, how far in advance must you indicate your intention using turn signals or hand and arm signals? A. 50 feet for arm signal only. B. 100 feet for both turn signals or hand and arm signals. C. 100 feet for turn signals only. D. 50 feet for hand and arm signals and 100 feet for turn signals. Answer B. 100 feet for both turn signals or hand and arm signals. When is it prohibited to pass a vehicle on the left? A. When your lane has a dashed yellow center line. B. When your lane has a solid yellow center line. C. When you can safely return to the right lane before a solid yellow center line for the right lane. D. When you are within 200 feet of a railroad crossing. Answer B. When your lane has a solid yellow center line. If you're being passed on the right by many vehicles, it's best to A. Speed up to match their speed. B. Move into the leftmost lane. C. Honk to signal them to slow down. D. Move into the right lane and let them pass on the left. Answer. D. Move into the right lane and let them pass on the left. What is the minimum fine for passing a stopped school bus for the first violation? A. $50. B. $100. C. $250. D. $500. Answer. C. $250. When parking your vehicle alongside a curb, it should be positioned. A. Any distance as long as you're next to the curb. B. No more than 3 feet, 90 centimeters, from the curb. C. No more than 1 foot, 30 centimeters, from the curb. D. Exactly at the curb without any distance. Answer. C. No more than 1 foot, 30 centimeters, from the curb. When parking on a hill, to prevent your vehicle from moving into traffic, you should. A. Always keep the wheels straight. B. Turn the wheels away from the curb. C. Increase tire pressure for better grip. D. Turn the wheels towards the curb or side of the road. Answer. D. Turn the wheels towards the curb or side of the road. When a vehicle is stopped, whether occupied or not, other than for the purpose of temporarily loading or unloading merchandise or passengers, it is considered. A. Stopping. B. Standing. C. Parking. D. Neither of the above. Answer. C. Parking. Under a no standing sign, which of the following is not allowed? A. Making a temporary stop to load passengers. B. Making a temporary stop to unload passengers. C. The driver exiting the vehicle. D. The driver staying inside the vehicle. Answer. C. The driver exiting the vehicle. What does double parking refer to? A. Parking between two other vehicles. B. Parking on the roadside of a parked vehicle. C. Parking on both sides of the road. D. Parking in two adjacent parking slots. Answer. B. Parking on the roadside of a parked vehicle. How far must you avoid parking from a pedestrian safety area, unless otherwise indicated? A. 
5 feet, 2 meters. B, 15 feet, 5 meters. C, 25 feet, 8 meters. D, 30 feet, 10 meters. Answer, D, 30 feet, 10 meters. A lowered or cut curb is designed for A. Easier parking for vehicles B. Access to the sidewalk C. Decoration of the streets D. Diverting water flow Answer, B. Access to the sidewalk How close can you park to a railroad crossing? A. 10 feet, 3 meters B. 25 feet, 7.5 meters. C. 40 feet, 12 meters. D. 50 feet, 15 meters. Answer. D. 50 feet, 15 meters. If you hear a siren or air horn from an emergency vehicle nearby but cannot determine its location, what should you do? A. Continue driving at your current speed. B. Safely pull over to the right side edge of the road and stop. C. Speed up to get out of the area. D. Only stop if you see the emergency vehicle. Answer. B. Safely pull over to the right side edge of the road and stop. In cases of greatly reduced visibility due to weather conditions, what should a motorist do? A. Slow down to 15 miles per hour or less and proceed with caution. B. Turn off all lights and continue driving. C. Stop alongside the road and turn on emergency flashers. D. Use high beam headlights to see further. Answer. C. Stop alongside the road and turn on emergency flashers. If you are driving and you need to use your cell phone, it is best to A. Carefully use your cell phone, but do not talk for a long time. B. Stop in a safe parking area and then make the call. C. Use a hands-free device so you can keep both hands on the steering wheel. D. Under no circumstances. Answer. B. Stop in a safe parking area and then make the call. When a pedestrian is crossing the street at a marked or unmarked crosswalk. A. You only need to yield if there are pedestrian signals. B. Pedestrians should wait for your vehicle to pass. C. You must yield, slowing down or stopping if necessary. D. Yielding is only necessary during daylight hours. Answer. C. You must yield, slowing down or stopping if necessary. When turning, your rear wheels will. A. Uh, always follow the exact path of the front wheels. B. Travel outside the path of the front wheels. C. Travel inside the path of the front wheels. D. Stay stationary until the front wheels have completed the turn. Answer. C. Travel inside the path of the front wheels.